arrested Edward Michael Sark, who we believe to be the final suspect in the tragic shooting of Onyx Sands. Police talking about the man from Clarksville who they say fired the shot that hit and paralyzed six year old Onyx Sands during a road rage incident on I-65 last month. Today, Metro Police talking about the final two arrests in their nearly two month long investigation. In total, three suspects are now facing charges. Two of them are arraigned in court today. Isaiah Kim Martinez and senior photojournalist Alyssa Newton have the update from police on what made the difference in this case. Lieutenant Stephen Lacefield says they've made their final arrest in this investigation. Now it's about making sure the evidence holds up in court to, of course, ensure justice for the family affected and little six year old Onyx Sands. The investigation at this point is done, but we'll still have to move forward with prosecution. The case of a road rage incident turned shooting on I-65 more than seven weeks ago, reaching the next chapter. Newly released LMPD video showing the arrest of Edward Sark, the man they say is responsible for putting this innocent little girl, Onyx Sands, in a wheelchair. This is an allegation of firing shots at an occupied vehicle. Both Sark and fellow suspect Shelby Bisconer standing before a judge Wednesday. I'm just ready for us to go on to the next chapter and tackle whatever challenges may come. Onyx's mother, China Sands, uplifted by her daughter's energy following release from the Fraser Rehab Institute weeks ago. Now her life and the lives of her family have been affected forever. ATF Louisville and LMPD say they can take the next step, not just for the Sands family, but others suffering from gun violence. Is there something you guys learned from this case specifically that was different or that you can use in similar cases going forward? It validated the plan of the non-fatal shooting unit moving forward. It shows how effective that it is. Lieutenant Lacefield is the commander of LMPD's newly formed unit, dedicating 16 detectives to shootings that aren't deadly. Each detective, Lacefield says, did some work on Onyx's case. But to be able to take the time and put together a solid case that is going to withstand the scrutiny of the court. Deputy Chief Steve Healy telling me the unit allows for more thorough, efficient investigations to get what so many families plead for accountability in Louisville. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side. A third suspect already booked on state charges is Jonathan Rivera, also facing federal charges on possession of a handgun by a convicted felon. During that road rage incident from July, police believe about 15 shots were fired over an eight mile stretch along I-65 as they headed north.